EVA Mobility recently revealed the long-awaited full-scale prototype of the four-passenger EVATOL aircraft it aims to start delivering in 2026. The spin-off from Embraer rolled out the aircraft during an event in Brazil held in early July. We're talking about a prototype that we started to build and uh, start to assemble uh, last year, and now we just reveal it to the world, open the door, we do the rollout, as we say, to present the fully assembled uh, vehicle before we actually go into the uh, ground testing and eventually get to the flight. So it is emblematic for us because it's now more than a, a project, it's more than a rendering, it's more than a, a business plan with an IPO back uh, in May 2022. 20, uh, now it's a reality. It's hand on the metal, ooh, I should say, hand of the composite, right? <laughs> so this is really the beginning of the first vehicle that we can see full scale. It's uncrewed, okay? So we'll be remotely uh, piloted, uh, and uh, this will really help us to see, you know, and finalize and fine tune for the conforming prototype that we'll start to produce uh, this year. And then the five conforming prototype that will just be assembled over the next 12 months. Achieving type certification at the start of commercial flights with a new aircraft requires a constant flow of cash. In July, EVE, which is already listed on the New York Stock Exchange, raised a further $94 million in funding from several undisclosed investors. It's expensive, but it's worth every dollar, simply because we want to make sure that it's safe. And to make it safe, we need to have more technology, redundancy, and this is why, you know, now we need money and funding. And then we just announced uh, about a month ago the new round of capital raise that we've done. Uh, we had the IPO back in May 2022, and then we raised $400 million, and now we added it to $94 million a month ago, and now we just announced an additional strategic uh, investor that is adding $1.6 million. Uh, so this will give us the runway for 2027. Well, we were in 2024, 25. Now we can go and push it and then we're fully funded until 2027, which is so important for us because whatever happens around the world, and we know, you know, in this world of turmoil, economical turmoil, political turmoil, you know, we want to make sure that we can really just go until we certify and deliver the first unit. As the engineering work continues at the company's new facility at Taubate in Brazil's Sao Paulo state, EVE remains in close contact with prospective operators of the unnamed EVATOL aircraft. Beyond building the aircraft itself, the company and its partners are focused on all the supporting infrastructure required, including air traffic management systems and the vertiports where EVATOL air taxis will land in urban areas. We have 2,900 aircraft sold to 30 customers through LOIs, those are letter of intent. But basically what the customers are telling us, like, gosh, I love what you're doing. If you can certify, if you can deliver the performance of what you're saying that you will, and you can also support me on the aftermarket, and by the way, bring also the vector, which is the UATM solution, so I can scale up my operation, I'm in. I will be firming up those LOI. And this is exactly what's gonna happen in a period of time between now and the first deliveries, then we'll be, you know, converting our LOIs into firm orders. And then once you do this, you also start to get, you know, what we call the PDPs, the down payment. What we do is we listen, we, we welcome our customers on a regular basis, we gather them, we have the advisory board, and we ask them, what do you want? And then we'll see, you know, everything that we can do. And what we've heard is like, well, I want, you know, an aircraft that will be able to do some sightseeing. I want an aircraft that will be able to do the first mile, last mile, you know, from I'm taking, you know, from an airline, when I can take it, you know, and pick him up very close from his home or bring it very close to where he needs to be, where the executive needs to be. Uh, it could be some medical uh, mission, special mission. Uh, uh, so it needs to be a, a, a full flex cabin. This is what you need to be giving them. And then they do what it needs to be done. And by the way, it could be all this in one day. Let's not exaggerate, but in the morning you could be transporting passengers, right? And then you just, with a quick uh, uh, reconfiguration, you can uh, be uh, transporting some parcels, you know, by taking off uh, uh, a seat, for example. Well, Embraer is not the only established aerospace group with skin in the advanced air mobility game. And some of observers take the view that it could be these big aerospace and defense giants that have the long-term view and the deep pockets that are missing at some of the startups who are more focused on getting to market fast. These groups include Airbus, Textron and Boeing, which have business units focused on their respective Evertol aircraft, the City Airbus NextGen, 
the Nexus and the Whisk Aero models. Well, these are just the type of stories that we're always following at AIN. If you stick with us pretty much day in, day out, you're going to be hearing how these exciting new technology programs are advancing. So please keep coming back to AINonline.com slash futureflight. And thank you for watching.